It has been several months since anyone has seen missing toddler Oakley Carlson. The Grays Harbor County girl disappeared after being returned to her biological parents. Well, today her father was sentenced in prison, not for the suspicious disappearance of that girl, but for two counts of endangerment against another daughter. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson has the latest from today's hearing in Montesano. There were moments of regret from Andrew Carlson as a Grays Harbor Superior Court judge sentenced him to 12 months in prison, not connected to the disappearance of his five-year-old daughter, Oakley Carlson, but for the endangerment of her sibling. I deeply regret my failings as a father. I, um, I've, I haven't done a lot of things correctly in the last seven years or so. Carlson pled guilty to two counts of endangerment after investigators say he and Oakley's mother, Jordan Bowers, weren't giving the other child in their care doctor prescribed medication for over a year. It's a father's job to protect their children and you you certainly failed in that Mr. Carlson. I'm very ready to turn that around and um, if I can't be a father to my children then I can at least be an example that they can um, look at and say that I did the right thing. Do the right thing and tell us where Oakley is. That's what everybody wants. For months, Jamie Jo Hiles has been longing to know what happened to Oakley. I miss my knuckles. Your binoculars. Uh, see? She was the child's foster mother for two and a half years before the state and courts decided to return Oakley to her biological parents in 2019. I know I didn't give birth to Oakley, but she was my child. Like. And I've said it before that I saw her first steps, that I was there for her first dance recital. I mean, she was my little girl. And uh, it, it's been really hard waking up every morning, realizing that I have to remember every day that she, we don't know where she is. How can you? How can you lose her? Carlson and Bowers told detectives Oakley was last seen in November 2021. Since then, the Grays Harbor Sheriff's Department has done extensive searches trying to find her. But investigators say her parents refuse to give any information where she might be. As more questions rise, so do the number of signs across the community raising awareness about the missing child. It's tough, you know. Um, you go around any street corner here in, in Grace Harbor and there's a sign up in Oakley support and where is she? It's one of those cases that we're not going to rest until we find answers and, you know, we want the answers to where she's at. Investigators are using every available resource to locate her. We're continuing to comb through warrants as they come back in, you know, cell phone data and GPS data from the phones and stuff like that, trying to find more answers. But um, we we still got all hands on deck. With Carlson now sentenced to prison, Hyle says she hopes it leads to answers to the disappearance of the child she calls her own. I thought it would have happened by now. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News. Now, Bowers, the mother, was also charged with endangerment for withholding medication from her other child in her care. She appeared in court on Friday and pleaded not guilty. Investigators are now asking for videos, pictures, locations, any information that may help them break this case about Oakley Carlson. We do have contact information on our website for anyone who has information that they want to share.